good morning in the previous session i have started with the projections of lines and also we have just discussed three different cases wherein we considered the line which may be parallel to one plane or it will be parallel to both the planes that is both hp and bp then we consider line contained in one plane or it may contain in both the planes then the third case we consider the line perpendicular to one plane and parallel to other so today let us consider the case very we consider this line to be inclined to one plane and parallel to other now since i have written a general statement in this particular case i can get two different illustrations okay so first i may consider line can say inclined to hp and parallel to b okay so let us discuss about this now already we have seen the when the line is parallel to a particular plane if we just recollect we have concluded that when a line is parallel to a particular plane then we have concluded that we can see the true length on that particular plane itself so obviously this particular case since the line is parallel to bp i can say that the true length of the line will be seen in front view because whatever we project onto the vertical plane we know that it will be considered as different okay now let us uh, illustrate this with a 3d figure so as usual let me consider two planes bb and hp now if let us say we want to illustrate uh, with this sketch pen itself or a marker pen itself as a line now since i wanted to consider this line to be inclined to hp and parallel to bp now let us consider a simple case where the line is parallel to bp not only that it is parallel to hp also now what i wanted i wanted this particular line to be still parallel to vp but it has to be inclined to hp now what i do is i simply rotate like this so as you can see now since i have made this line rotated about this particular end this particular line now it is becoming inclined to hp but still it is parallel to vp now since it is parallel to vp we can say that true length will be seen in front view not only that this particular line is now inclined so inclined to what now inclined to hp if you just remember i used to say that the details of hp is will be seen in front view so we say that the true inclination of this line which is inclined to hp will be seen in front view so that in the front view we can draw this particular projection to be a line that is a true length of the line itself that particular true length of the line is inclined to hp by an angle let us say theta so generally we consider theta to be the angle with reference to hp now anyway as you can see we can see from the front view that's what we are going to get on the vp now let us take a look from the top view. that is i want to draw the top view which is projected onto the horizontal plane now as you can see since the line is inclined to hp earlier it was like this so if it is like this means what this particular line was parallel to hp also since it was parallel to hp you would have seen the true length of the line there but now what is happening now the line is inclined to hp since the line is inclined to hp we can see that the line which we are going to see the top view line has to become four sharp turn okay and not only that it is four sharp turn and also that particular line will be parallel to x y line so that i will explain using this illustration okay so when this i am just writing whatever explain this now so as you can see 
I have just considered Li initially parallel to both VP as well as HP. So let me write this as capital A and capital B. Now if I just look from the front, so as you can see, if I look from the front, since the line is parallel to VP, I can see shoulder of the line in the front view, so that we will get this to be A dash A dash. Similarly, if I look from the top, which is projected onto this particular HP. Now, since the line is parallel to HP also, I can say true length of the line in the top view also. So, I will just indicate like this. Okay. Now, what I said, I wanted this particular line to be inclined to HP. So, what I do here is I will just mark like this. So as you can see, I have just made this line inclined. You can just make out. I have just made this line inclined to HP. Now, I need to define how exactly we can define the inclination of the line with reference to a plane. So now, always remember, the inclination of the line with reference to the plane is that line. If I extend this particular line and its projection on that particular plane, that particular intersection will give the angle. So what I do here is, I am just going to extend this, I am going to extend this projection. Is it okay? Now, this particular angle is theta. Now, this is theta, what about this also? This also theta because they are complementary angles. So now we can see this. The inclination of the line with reference to HP will be shown with angle theta. Now since I have rotated this line with reference to HP, still it is parallel to VP. Still it is parallel to VP, we know that in the front view, we can retain the particular true length of the line itself. That we say that, if you want to show that, I have just made it inclined, that is I have just rotated in this way. This also will move in this way, because anyway this is the direction of the view. This is the front view. Okay, now here you can see that this particular line I can call this now as let us say B dash now. Now we can see what is this angle now? This is theta. Come to triangles. And again, this particular plane, I can just consider this is my plane, let us say this is my plane now. So what about this here also? It is, it is also planar. So these two are parallel to one another. So thereby this angle is also theta. Not only that, this retires the true length. So I will call this as TL. Always remember if I write TL means it is a true length of the line. Okay, now tell me what will happen to the top view now. Now since this particular line is inclined to HP in the top view, that particular line seems to be of four shortened length. You will consider the four shortened length as apparent length. So always I will bring one more term. So if I say apparent length means that particular line is included a particular plane. Now if I say that we are going to get the apparent length in the top view. So if the line, if you are going to get this shorter length, it means that it is inclined to H. Or I will consider this line to be four shortened, that particular length to be length of the top. Okay, anyway let me show this. So now as I said, I just made like this. So can you see this? Now let me call it as V now. Okay, now as you can see, originally the line was AB true length. Now since this particular line is parallel to VP, true length will be seen in front view. But since the line is inclined to HP, the four shortened length which is considered to be apparent length will be seen in top view. I will consider this line as NTP, length of the top. Okay, now let us say I want to show this on the author of projection. So how do you do that? So I will draw the XY line. So after drawing the XY line, now I need to see from which view I need to start. Okay, now as you can see in this particular case, line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Since the line is parallel to VP, where do you see its true length? 
stool at the beginning in the front view. So I need to start from front view. How do you start the front view? So for example, if I say that we have a line of uh, 80 mm. Okay, obviously I need to know from which point I need to start. So for that particular purpose, generally in the problems, one of the ends of the line has to be described. Let me say that, I will say that this particular NDA. So as you can see here, I can say the NDA is, I can say 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of BP. If I give those details, I can first locate that particular NDA. After locating that NDA, then since I know the true length with inclination, true inclination, I can draw the front view. So what I do now is, if I know the position of this A, we will get this as A dash. Let us say this is A. Okay. Now as you can see, the true length of the line will be seen in front view. So I need to first draw the front view. So I will draw the front view like this. So this let us say V dash. And what is this length? I told you, since the line is parallel to V, this has to be the true length of the line. So I will make TL here. And what is this inclination? This inclination is corresponding to the inclination with reference to H. Because anyway we know that the details of H is we have seen in front view. So I will just indicate this angle to be theta. Now I need to draw the corresponding top. So what about the corresponding top as you can see now? Since the line is inclined to HP, its corresponding top view should be foreshortened. It all depending upon theta. See, it is nothing but your horizontal projection. So let us say, if I say this angle theta is equal to 60. So you know what is cos 60. Okay. If I know that angle, it is nothing but this TL into cos 60. But anyway, in graphics, we are not making any calculations. So we need to show it on the drawing sheet. And now what I do then, I will draw the projector. Then I will complete this so that this will be B. Now, since this particular AB is not the true length. Since it is not true length, what length is that? It is the length made by that particular line. When it is inclined to H, it all depending upon this angle theta now. That would say that we will call this particular length as length of the top view. Now, because you cannot do the mathematical calculation. For example, if I write cos 60. So what is cos 60? Maybe you will get root 3 by 2. So if I say root 3 by 2, it will give you multiply this T L. So you may get some fraction. So fraction value I cannot measure. So no need for measuring anything. You have to just measure this angle, then put it here. And also remember, after completing the projection, always you should see this. The projectors, I mean the top view, front view projector should be on the same line. So you can see A dash A, same line, B dash B on the same line. So this is what we desire as simple as this. Followed? Now I will consider line inclined to VP and parallel to HP. How do you do that? Again, I am just going to tell us. I don't think I will uh, going to again draw like this. Not required. Okay. Now this is what I initially consider. Now the line is parallel to both HP as well as VP. Now what I wanted, I wanted this particular line to be still parallel to HP, but it is inclined to VP. So what I do that? Maybe I am just inclined in this way. So once I rotate this line in this way, then what will happen? This particular line will become inclined to VP. But still it is parallel to HP. In the top view, we will get the true line. And the angle will be the angle made by the VP. Anyway, I said that theta of the angle made with reference to HP. So now I cannot say again say theta. So generally we consider the angle as phi. So phi is the ang angle or the inclination made by the line with reference to VP. And again, how do you draw the projections for this? How to draw the projections? I will draw the so I line. Then I told you that whenever I do the problem, I need to start from that view wherein I know the true length. Now I told you that line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Now since the line is parallel to HP, how do you start then? I need to start from top view. And again, let us say I know the position of or the position of one of the ends. Let us say I know the position A here. So I first do this. Then let us say I know the inclination phi with reference to that particular line. So I will draw this. So that this will be B. So again this is TL. Then this inclination is what I said. Inclination is phi. That is, phi is the true inclination of the line which is made with reference to VP. Similarly, I can draw the corresponding 
Front view. So front view as usual A A dash same project there. So let us say I know the position of the A A in the front view. That is I know that it is how much mm above HP I know this details. So I will get this A dash. Then simply projecting this I will get this to be B dash. Now we can see A dash B dash is four shot. Why it is four shot and here? Since the line is inclined to VP. Now since the line is inclined to VP, as you can see, the line is inclined to VP now. So if you look from the front, this particular line seems to be four short end. This four short end length is known as the apparent length. And this apparent length we are going to see in the front view. That is the reason I will consider this length to be LFV. So if I write LFV, it means it is a length of the front view. And whenever I say LFV, you should always remember, if I write LFV, it means the line has to be inclined to VP. If I write LTV means the light has to incline to HP. Is it clear?